Hi friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping in. If you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you as a subby friend. So today's video, we are going to be doing epoxy letter keychains using Dollar Tree sea glass. So these turned out so good. You can use as much or as little, of course, as you want, but I am just really digging the look of the sea glass in these. So if you would like to see these being made, please just stay tuned. I'll attach the video and I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day, friends. Thank you again. I'll see you later. Right, Bye. So we have our letter mold and I have my epoxy. We are going to make letter keychains and we are going to use sea glass from the Dollar Tree. So this sea glass, it comes in a little mesh container. It's got all this different sea glass. And I just took a hammer and I chopped it up. Now, you gotta be careful because it is glass and it will cut you. So be really, really careful. And I have my epoxy. My epoxy is my two-part epoxy from Pro Marine. And I did use my I did use my epoxy mixer from Hobby Lobby to mix it. And I'm just gonna put that in there. So what I'm noticing, well, A, it made it very bubbly, but B, my sea glasses kind of stay into the bottom and I don't want that. So I'm gonna have to, look how bubbly adding that sea glass made it. So I'm gonna have to dig from the bottom to get that sea glass out. very interesting how it made it so um, made it have so many bubbles now I do want to make sure that all the little glass pieces are covered and my alarm just went off my reminder that it's time for me to Get ready for work. I mean, I could put the sea glass in and then put the epoxy over it. My concern really is with the shards of glass, you know? And if I mix them in the epoxy, I know that all the little shards are covered. Now mind you, that's a dirty container that my um, sea glass was in, but I didn't actually mind that just because um, I was initially going to put some sand in with it too so I am not being a good epoxy pourer today those are all the ones I needed to do. Not all that I needed to do. I've got a little bit of sea glass in here. I will put it in here just because rather than waste it. I'm going to 
gonna spray these guys with some alcohol. If I have to, I can always run my heat gun over it. Now, if you're spraying with alcohol, remember, it must be 90% or greater. I might have to put some heat on these. I'm going to let them sit and see how they go. I'll let you know if I ended up using heat or not. But do you see how bubbly it made it? That's crazy. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, friends, so our keychain letters are done and they're ready for us to take them out. I hope everybody's doing well today. Uh, forgive me, my brain is a little bit tired. So we have been so busy in the hospital, in the emergency departments. And last night I had to help one of my EDs and I worked night shift, which is something that I haven't done in a long time. So my brain is a little bit tired still. You know, you got to get on a, on a good schedule to, you know, for your brain to adjust to night shifts. So when you just do those one offs, it messes you up for a little bit. All right, so anyways, I hope everybody is doing doing great. I hope you guys are staying safe and staying happy. All right, so now remember, we put the crushed glass in these, and, and my crushed glass had a little bit of dirt in it, which I was absolutely fine with because um oh yeah see like i was gonna put a little bit of dirt in it anyways and then when i noticed it had the crush the crushed glass was you know my husband had chomped it for me and put it in something dirty and i was like you know that's actually okay because i just felt like you know sometimes a little bit of sand gives something a different vibe but i like look how this glass looks in here so and then the little, I, I personally think the little pieces of dirt like make it really good. So here's the A, this looks really good. The one thing I will say on the back, I probably didn't go up quite high enough. Um, so my ridges are a little high. I should have gone a little bit higher up in my epoxy, but it looks good. And that crushed glass looks really cool inside there. Yeah, here's our J. The one I'm wondering about is the U. I feel like it didn't get very much crushed glass in it. Now, um, the crushed glass inside the epoxy, like I liked it putting it in the epoxy, but it definitely like sunk to the bottom. So you could, you know, if you want more crushed glass, you could put it in your letter and put the epoxy over it. And, but I would just use a toothpick or something to just stir around and make sure it's all covered in epoxy so that you don't have any shards that are gonna like stick out and cut you. So here's the L. Yeah, I really, really like this crushed glass look. So I have these little clear discs that I got from the Dollar Tree that I feel like they're going to look really good underneath epoxy and I'm going to be doing them next um, to, to show you because it's like this clear glass where it's so, uh, I mean like the sea glass where it's like kind of see through and it gives a cool look so I'm going to try those as well. But this crushed glass looks really good and again I didn't put that much in I definitely would probably put a little bit more here's the U see this one didn't have much this was the one that you know we we're just using the leftover epoxy but it still looks really cool looking and oh and there's our M that looks good so I would you know, definitely use a little bit more. However, this looks really good. Now, 
for those of you guys who haven't seen, this is my whirly gig. And it's called a deburring tool. So this is what I use, you know, to sort of clean up my edges when my edges are, you know, a little sharp. Now, of course, you can always, um, you know, sand them down lightly also. And if you needed to, you could always just put some extra, you know, like a light coat of epoxy over the back to fill in. Now, the other thing is, um, I'm not sure why, I don't know if it was the sea glass or the, like, whatever, you know, residue my husband had in the little container that he put the sea glass in because he, you know, uses that container to put a lot of work project stuff in there. But my epoxy like really got a lot of bubbles in it when I was really got a lot of bubbles in it when I was um, stirring it in and my epoxy was nice and clear previously. However, you know, I put the alcohol on it. So the alcohol is really good for like molds and stuff, but you, you do need to make sure if you're going to spritz your projects with alcohol, it needs to be 90% or higher because if it's got too much water content, you know, your epoxy doesn't like water and it won't be nice because it won't um, harden all the way, but the alcohol is good. And then the other thing is you can always use a little bit of heat. So some people use torches. However, I will tell you, I personally don't use a torch on my molds because you can ruin your molds that way. And you know, molds are expensive. They, they start, the cost of them really does start to add up. So I don't, I mean, you can definitely do that if that's your thing, but I just personally don't, and that's the reason. So, you know, you can also use your heat gun. You just got to be careful because inside, you know, the mold, you don't want to get, you know, too close just because it'll fan your epoxy around. But I did not have to use my heat gun. The alcohol settled all of my all my little bubbles so I have no little bubbles in these and I did like I let it everything come to the surface and then I did one more spritz of alcohol over them and it definitely made a difference so I'm just kind of good doing my edges here a little bit just to show you now these deburring tools I've done you know videos on them it, you know, if you do epoxy, like these things really are phenomenal. Um, I use it, you know, to do the rims on my tumblers and everything. And this is just a really great tool. It, I mean, you can get them anywhere from five to 20 bucks. You can get them at any hardware store. You could get them on Amazon and they work really really good uh you just you know if you're using them on your tumblers you know just you know be careful because if you go too um deep with it it'll cut it will trim up your metal also which i have done and then i just use a light sandpaper and it's fine but just know that all right so here are my letters. I really do like how they turned out. I think that the sea glass looks super cool inside of them. And this looks cool with this little bit of mount in there. However, I would um, definitely say, you know, you could put, you know, quite a bit more in there and get even uh, more of, it's like a stained glass kind of look. So definitely looks, looks really pretty. And of course, you know, like I said, I let 
you know, little dirt pieces and stuff be in there intentionally. But you, of course, don't have to do that. So these are really cool. And then I just want to show you. So we will do a quick one of them into a quick keychain, right? So I just use this little hand drill. And this came from Amazon. Had it for quite some time. And it has all these different sizes of little drill bits in it. And then you put it in and you just tighten up around it like this and then you decide where you want it to be in your epoxy and then I just use this to and it's just a hand drill you just take and turn it like this you see and it puts a little hole in there and then you get started and then so you just take a little eye hook and you can use a pair of pliers if you need to just to you know tighten this in really well if you need to and I'm going to need a pair of pliers. Hold on one second. I just grabbed a pair of pliers. And when I was looking for my pliers, look at this worldly gig I found. So this is like a $20 one, but it's nice and wide. You can hold it easy. So there are types of them. So you can, if you want to use your pliers to help tighten it, you can just, you know, hold on to it and and turn it in now honestly I normally would put these in so these are completely hard I normally but because of how busy the hospital is I, I didn't do it I normally would take these out of the mold when they're still just a little bit soft and clean them up um, just because it makes it easy and I like to put these in when this is just a little bit softer so after like 12 hours and uh, a lot of times I don't even need the drill when I do that but I like to do that because then as it hardens it hardens around your eye hook and it just makes it a little bit you know more secure so you can get hardware pieces you know at um, any of the hobby stores you can get them at Walmart you can get them on Amazon most of mine come from Amazon just because that's the easiest for me oh my hands are just so I just all I did was you know put a little ring in and this ring you know is made to just sort of be bent over and sometimes it's hard for me to get my fingers around it trying to do it so that you can see it and then just take your pliers and you know just pull it out and bend it over make it tight now another thing that I like to do before I give these out to people is that like if I'm my next epoxy project I'll just take a, a toothpick put some epoxy on the toothpick and I will just take my toothpick and dab epoxy right here and since I put this in hard I'll dab epoxy around the edges there um, that way and the reason I like to do it because you know these things no matter how hard you squeeze them sometimes it's easy for them to slide you know off and so I like to do that so that it's on um, so that it's on nicely and then you know you have your keychain so you know and then of course you can add anything you want to your keychain but that's just you know a little basic keychain so anyways these turned out 
you know, really, really cute. I like how they turned out. The sea glass definitely looks good in them. And, you know, again, use as much or as little as you want. And you don't have to let dirt go in it. I thought that it would give it a cool look. So, you know, that's all of that sort of stuff is preference. So this is really just to see how the sea glass would look inside of these. And you can get it in a bag from Dollar Tree. And so as you can see, I've got a whole bunch left. And I've also used this on another project. So, all right, listen, I hope you guys have a blessed and beautiful day, friends. And I'll see you later. Bye.